Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Have you experienced living your life with heavy baggages? Suffering because of a lot of overthinking, a lot of disturbances from the hearts, and disturbed by lust and anger. These sufferings actually is caused by none other than ourselves. Yan ito yung cause and result ng pride and false ego. Dinadala natin yung mabibigat na baggages. Dinadala natin yung mga past. Dinadala rin natin yung mga frustrations and mga disappointments. Bakit? Because we want to. We're thinking na tayo yun. Tayo yung doer. So ito yung discussion natin sa Bhagavad Gita. Krishna will give <coughs> kay Arjuna yung idea regarding the doer. <coughs> And also, what should be the mood while doing the work? Reading from the Bhagavad Gita as it is, Chapter 3, Karma Yoga, text number 25. The ignorant perform their duties with attachment to results. The learned may similarly act, but without attachment, for the sake of leading people on the right path. Previously, we talked about leadership. We talked about how to become a proper role model. A devotee or a, person's pra a person who is practicing Krishna consciousness is naturally a leader. Kasi... People are looking up to him. We are leading a much more advanced lifestyle. A higher, um, fulfilling the higher purposes. Of course, being in the, in the lineage or parampara of great leaders or great gurus. So we have the responsibility to act accordingly. To behave in a high standard of etiquette. The fashion of etiquette. So, one still have to work. Sabi nga ni Krishna, siya nga, supreme personality of God na siya. Kailangan pa rin niyang kumilos. Kailangan pa rin niyang mag-act according sa scriptures. Follow yung mga um, leaders. Kailangan niya tumanggap ng guru. And kailangan niya pa rin mag-serve as his duty. Like being a charioteer, I mean chariot driver ni Arjuna. So, kailangan pa rin tayo kumilos. Practicing spiritual life doesn't mean we should be inactive or magkawa tayo ng mga bagay na um, hindi connected sa duties natin. Maging idol. Hindi ganon. Practicing Krishna conscious life is whatever we have, we should still use it. Whatever responsibilities that on our plate, kailangan natin i-perform kung ano yung duties natin, kailangan natin gawin much more, actually much more um, better. So, it was described here, two kinds of men. The ignorant and the learned. Same nang yung ginagawa nila. Like, Arjuna, soldier siya. Madaming soldiers so, sa time na yon. Millions of soldiers are part of the battle of Kuruksetra. What's the difference? Ginagawa niya yung para kay Krishna. So same thing. Yung mga devotees or those who are practicing spiritual life, they have to earn money, they have to perform their work or job or role as a parent. So maraming mga duties. Seems like pareho lang sa non-devotees or yung karamihan ng tao. But inside is very different. 
Text 26. So as not to disrupt the minds of ignorant men attached to the fruitive results of prescribed duties, a learned person should not induce them to stop work. Rather, by working in the spirit of devotion, he should engage them in all sorts of activities for the gradual development of Krishna consciousness. So hindi porket nag-guess mo rin yung nangyayari sa mundo. Nag-guess natin yung matrix, so-called matrix. <laughs> Or meron tayong higher knowledge. Hindi porket mas feeling natin, mas alam natin, is ipupush natin lahat ng tao sa paligid natin. Yung mga hindi ready. Yung mga hindi pa-willing. Ano yung mangyayari? Madi-disrupt sila be bewildered sila lalo. That's why it is a very important to find some engagements sa mga tao sa paligid natin to perform devotional service. A lot of people could not accept the fact that Krishna is the supreme because meron sila mga conditioning lalong-lalo na yung mga nasa lugar na atheistic talaga yung lifestyle or even the government is pushing to be pushing the country to be atheistic wala silang idea of becoming religious or spiritualized yung buhay nila so hindi mo sila pwedeng i-bombard or shove yung a lot of this philosophy sa throat nila hindi sila makakilos magiging inactive palalo sila minsan may mga family members tayo na hindi rin ready medyo culture shock din doon sa practice Because yung mga previous conditioning, yung upbringing is, is iba. Ano yung technique doon? Engage them in devotional service. Either way, be creative. <laughs> Unlimited yun. Unlimited yung pwede maging engagement sa mga tao. Let them help to prepare something or let them sponsor kung ano yung activities or devotional service na gagawin mo or ng greater community sa temple, have them um, hear yung maha mantra, yung mga effective na, pwed- uh, na pwedeng going way, bigyan sila ng prasyadam, knowingly, unknowingly, malaking effect ng prasyadam, we discussed before, it cleanses the heart, and it connects us to Krishna. So, ang da- daming ways. So, we have to be careful. Kalino mo rin i-share yung Krishna consciousness. They might be not ready and merong pwedeng matrigger sa kanila na maging offensive din sila. So, baka ma-jopardize pa yung process or yung plan. So, spread yung seeds everywhere. Sabi nga, even just going out wearing tilak, if you're able to, yung nakakita nun may benefit. Pero if yung appearance would be a disruption para sa pag-move forward nila sa Krishna consciousness kasi pwede maging sobrang resistant sila. And then, Wag mo gamitin yung appearance. Gamitin mo yung mga ibang way. There's no um, one size fits all sa pagbigay ng seeds of bhakti. Very tailored um, fit dapat. Personalized dapat. Different individual. Kailangan gamitin ng intelligence. <laughs> so makikita natin yung mga tao, may mga baggages na kinakarry because of false ego and pride. Because of lack of Krishna consciousness, lack of spirituality. So ito yung binibigay natin, ito yung gusto natin ibigay. Ano yung nangyayari kapag you're trying to plant the seed of bhakti sa ibang souls, not just human beings, pati animals or other living entities? Is mas nare-release mo yung mga baggages na yun and mas nagiging closer kay Krishna? It will complete the ecosystem so-called ecosystem or the holistic approach sa bhakti. It's only na Sigurdhari Swami is always saying to encapsulate the practice of bhakti, to practice, to taste, and to distribute. You cannot just practice without tasting, without relishing. And you cannot just practice the two without distributing. Because when you distribute it, you'll taste it much more. And you cannot just distribute without practicing. Kailangan meron kang um, deep, deeply rooted na practice 
doon magagaling yung empowerment din natin to share. Doon din magagaling yung taste. Doon din magagaling yung steadiness natin na hindi tayo madalang in maya ng illusion. We have to be good in our sadhana or in our practice. So when we try to distribute the seed of bhakti, mas maging effective. So important not to disturb them. But if ready na sila, then slowly but surely, give them what they need. Or if meron talaga silang spark, then pwede mo talagang ifan yon para maging fire. Or kapag talagang willing na talaga sila, then strate- strategically you can strike. Sabi nga nila, strike while the iron is hot. The spirit soul, bewildered by the influence of false ego, thinks himself the doer of activities that are in actuality carried out by the three modes of material nature. Ahankara vimudatma. So this is because of the false ego. Bakit na magig- nagiging mabigat yung baggage ng isang tao? Kasi iniisip na siya yung doer. Na siya yung cause kung ano yung nangyayari sa paligid niya. Siya yung root cause. Noong mga yon, may desire siya. Pero hindi lang siya yung doer. There are three doers, and Prabhupada explained this in the purport. Sabi niya, the person, the material nature, and the supreme. So, cycle yan. The individual will desire. May mga desire yung mga tao. Sometimes, kailangan niya idasal, kailangan niya isulat, di ba? kailangan niya affirmation sa, <laughs> sa salamin sa umaga, kung ano ng mga idea yung ginagawa niya. Mga new age things. Kailangan niya mag-work hard para sa mga desires na yon, O kailangan niya tulong ng ibang tao. Hindi mangyayari yung mga desires niya kapag hindi bibigyan ng sanction ni Krishna. Kung hindi bibigyan ng sanction ni Krishna, hindi, ya, hindi niya i-approve, hindi mo fulfill na material nature. So, kailangan ma-please si Krishna para ma-approve yun. And hindi lahat din ina-approve niya. <laughs> Only things that are ven- beneficial for our spiritual life. Sometimes may delay. Kailangan natin ma-experience yung mga iba-ibang bagay, iba't-ibang bagay. Minsan, gusto natin na lumayo kay Krishna. Ina-approve din na niya yun. But he's hoping, of course, in the near future, mawala na yung desire na yun. He's always making ways para ma-break yung cycle na yun, yung desire natin to be outside or out of sa circle ni Krishna. Desire mong yung galing lahat. Pero, if hindi sa sanction ni Krishna, hindi gagawin ng material nature, hindi mangyayari. One could really work hard to become a millionaire, billionaire, or ultra-rich. Pag hindi sina- binigyan ng sanction ni Krishna, hindi binigyan ng material nature, wala. You can see around. Ang daming w- hard worker, di ba? Pero hindi lahat naging successful. Yung iba, walang ginagawa. Nandiyan yung, yung fortune. Of course, previous lives, may mga desires din sila. Bakit sila napunta doon? Yung nag-work ng matinde, in the future, meron silang pwedeng puntahan din. Depende kung gano'ng kapayos yung activities nila this life. Pero pwede rin madinay <laughs> yung desires nila, yung hinu-work hard nila. After this lifetime, wala na uli. So my three doers, it will be foolish kapag naisip natin na tayo lang yung cause nung nasa paligid natin ng success or failure. Kaya naging mabigat yung baggage kasi may malaking false ego that I, that I am the doer. But in actuality, kinikarry out siya ng three modes of material nature. So, to kill the ego, we must learn na hindi lang tayo yung doer. Andyan si Krishna, and andyan yung material nature. Part lang tayo nun. Pwede tayo magbigay ng seed of desire natin. Na pag na-approve ni Krishna and nangyari sa material nature, inalaw sa material nature na gawin and mangyayari yung desire. If not, wala. 
So, para mawala yung false ego, kailangan mag-practice tayo ng detachment. Unang-una, kailangan yung desires natin spiritualized. And kahit spiritual desire na tayo, meron tayo, I'll do this activities, do this work in connection kay Krishna, or I'll do this service, I'll arrange this program para to please Krishna, the gurus, or the devotees. Kailangan pa rin natin i-apply yung detachment. It doesn't mean na di natin gagawin ng maganda. You just have to really push hard para mabigay mo yung all-in-all mo to the service. Pero, with detached heart. Karina nung naka-attach yung heart mo kay Krishna. And the mood of service. Kung anong result, si Krishna bahala doon. Siya lang mag-asabi kung approval hindi or success or failure. That should be the mood. In that way, wala kang i-carry ng mabigat na baggage. Kasi wala ka yung pride. Wala kang false ego. Hopefully, <laughs> nandun tayo sa level na talagang wala. <laughs> it's hard. It's easy, e- easier to say, pero harder. It's easy to say, but harder to do. One who is in knowledge of the absolute truth, O mighty armed, does not engage himself in the senses and sense gratification, knowing well the differences between work in devotion and work for fruity results. So we have to accept that it's an awkward position tayo sa material association. We are actually entrapped. We want to get out of here, but you cannot just make any quick escape. Walang instant na makakaalis ka by our own will only. Unless bibigyan ka ng mercy ni Krishna, hugutin ka niya rito. But of course, we have to do our work. We have to really prove kay Maya, kay material nature, or illusion, na ayaw na natin maging loyal sa kanya. Gusto natin maging loyal na kay Krishna. Siya na yung iserve natin. Kasi after many, many lifetimes, thousands, maybe millions of lifetimes, ang sinaserve natin si Maya. Tapos ngayon, natalikod ka sa kanya, di ba? Gusto mo na kay Krishna. She, she will test us kung gano'n tayo ka-determined. Or susuko ba tayo kagad by onting, onting temptation lang. If one is established sa identity niya as a servant, the real identity, and also the part and parcel of Krishna, kung ano yung activities niya will be connected kay Krishna. Kasi alam mo, connected kay Krishna eh. Hindi ka solo. Hindi ka solo sa mundong to. So, same activities yung ginagawa ng learned saka ignorant or the Krishna conscious and the materialist. All the same. They're using the same gadget. May kahit yung mga monks, may cellphone. Alam nila yung technology. Pero yung heart, yung purpose is different. And may detachment yung devotee or yung learned. May attachment yung materialist. Pero same siya mukha ng ginagawa. Same, same, but different. <laughs> In application, pwede nating ma-meditate na whatever that we are doing is an offering kay Krishna. Be it um, doing art, working, or serving. Lahat offering kay Krishna yon. Lahat yon should be practiced by detachment. Because may mga position tayong pwede ma- makuha in, in the form of service, in the form of um, career. Lahat yon temporary. Ang only permanent or what we call the sanatana dharma, the eternal situation, position natin is servant. So last text, bewildered by the modes of material nature and the ignorant, fully engage themselves in material activities and become attached. But the wise should not unsettle them, although these re- duties are inferior due to the performer's lack of knowledge. 
So what we have now is a good facility, a good tool. It's actually a gift, having a human body. It's a gift. Kasi very rare magkaroon ng human body. Gano ka rare? Sabi nga nila yung analogy na there's a tortoise in the ocean. Imagine kung gano'ng kalaki yung ocean. And a, a, a tortoise look really like an atom or smaller than in comparison. Yung tortoise daw, yung turtle, pagpunta niya dun sa surface ng sea, hangat niya yung head niya, yung chances na may log of food dun sa whole ocean, nasakto ko nasa yung turtle, ay yung chances na, na may hole dun sa log of food, pag angat ng turtle, sumot yung head niya dun. <laughs> Imagine the, ch- the, the, the chances, the mo- small, small chance na mangyari yun. Ganun daw career na magkaroon tayo ng human body. So, kailangan natin ma-realize na mayroong galito, na may tool and may gift na galitong body para magamit natin with the right purpose. Hindi natin i-waste yung time. Hindi na tayo mag-take it, mag-take it for granted nung meron tayo. So, having this human body much more na rare is having this knowledge of Krishna consciousness is ultra rare. <laughs> better than a thousand or better than a million having this knowledge. Like, tingin natin yung just human beings, kung gano'ng karami human beings sa mundo, ilang billions. Ilang millions lang yung may alam or billion din yung may alam sa Krishna consciousness. And yung seryoso sa Krishna consciousness, ilang million or thousands lang even. Sobrang rare talaga. What more pa pag nag-go in a macro level ka pa to perceive it, yung gano'ng karaming living entities pa. So sobrang rare. That's why the devotees are sometimes much more merciful kay Krishna. <laughs> At yung glories ng devotees. Si Krishna sabi niya, if may mga hindi ready, don't disturb them. Don't disrupt their knowledge. Kasi pwedeng maging distraction yun or baka mabibilder sila. But yung devotees are very merciful. Merciful than Krishna pa nga. Sabi ni Prabhupada dito. The devotees are making ways para i-spread yung seed of bhakti. And hindi lang i-spread yung seed of bhakti. May dal- daladala rin silang water. May daladala rin silang Um, facility to take care of that seed. They want that seed to sprout. Not just that, they want the seed to be nourished. Kinukultivate nila. It's like a gardener. So, hindi lang yung seed of bhakti natin yung kailangan natin alagaan. Kailangan din natin alagaan yung ibang seed. Kailangan din alagaan natin yung ibang bhakti creeper. So, ito yung duty ng isang devotee. Either way, kung nasa loob ka ng temple na katera, you're full um, resident, or you are a congregation, or you are practicing um, wherever, that is our duty. That is our service. Kasi habang tinutulungan mo yung iba, yung own seed of bhakti mo mas nag-grow din. In that way, our hearts will be free from false ego. Kasi nasa harap mo na, fully realize mo na ikaw yung servant of the servant of the servant. And this is your duty. Hindi ikaw yung doer. Kapag lagi mo nare-remind yun sarili mo doon, wala kang mabigat na dadaling na baggage. Ikaw lang. sa yung service attitude mo lang. Wala kang daladalang maraming traumas, experiences, or we call it anarthas from the previous lives na kailangan mo i-purify na madami. Ito lang yung kailangan mo i-focus. Automatic, madudrop mo na lahat ng mga heavy stuff na yun. And, mawawala rin yung false ego, yung pride. Kasi, alam mo na kung gaano kakaliit. It's rare opportunity and a privilege to be in association sa mga devotees who have Devotional service opportunities. Uh, sobrang rare nun. So pag nakita natin kung gano'n tayo ka-fortunate 
not just by our own, but because of the mercy of people around us, the devotees, makikita natin na, ah, I'm really small. <laughs> I'm just like a spark, speck of dust. Like an atom sa buong creation na to. So yung false ego natin mababurst. Mama yung pride natin, sana mapalitan ng humility. The genuine humility. Lahat ng yun will start sa knowledge. We have to have a no- some sort of knowledge coming from Krishna sa Bhagavad Gita para mas maintindihan natin. Couple that with association and the right um, mood in learning. So, hindi natin kailangan mag-focus dun sa pagtanggal ng baggage na yun, pag-release natin or pagbaba natin ng mabigat na dalhin natin. Magka-focus lang tayo sa service kay Krishna. Automatic mawawala na siya. Automatic gagaan lahat. Automatic mawapractice natin yung detachment. The easiest way is to always meditate kay Krishna. And the more and more easiest way, easier way para ma-meditate kay Krishna, mag-meditate kay Krishna, is to chanting His name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Thank you very much, my dear ones. That is our episode for today. How to kill our false ego and pride. It seems like an impossible task, but Krishna gave the fastest and easiest way how to do it. Actually, hindi mo siya tackle directly. But just finding a switch para mangyari yun. And that switch is devotional service. Devotional service means performing your duties with great responsibilities. With great responsibility and also in the mood of detachment. Si Arjuna, nasa ganitong situation. I have to do my duties, but kailangan ko rin maging detach. And that's very instructive para sa buhay natin. Do our duties in this world, thinking of Krishna and with detachment.